Well, hello folks. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you how I organize my timeline in Premiere Pro so that, so that I can work easily. So, before I open a Premiere Pro, I will tell you how I organize my folder. So, here is how I organize my folder. Here I'm in one of my folder. So, how I organize my folder is actually separate the picture and the video part if I had three days of taking videos and photos, I will separate all of them into picture day one, day two, day three, and video day one, two, and three. But since I just have one day, I will just make one picture folder and one video folder. So now I will, so now I will make a folder of them. So right click on him new folder and change the name into the picture because there are no day one two three i'll just use picture presenter and then create one more call it video now we just need to put the picture and the video into the folder. Now I will click in here, hold down shift and click to the top. So it will highlight all of them. And then press Ctrl X on command and so right click cut to the picture and Ctrl V to paste it. Get back to the folder. Now we just have the video in here. Do the exact same thing to them first. The first one, hold shift. First, the last one, right click, cut, go to videos, control V or paste. Now we have two. There are video, there are picture and videos here. Okay, so we're done with the folder. Now let's just run. Okay, we are already on Premiere Pro. I use the Evade panel here, not editing that I usually use like this. I use it like this. It's make it easier to search Evade. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is uh, import the folder into Primer Pro. So please highlight this and then con Ctrl I, Command I. Choose videos, Ctrl A to select them all and then open. Okay, so we have all the videos here now we just need to make a folder again in the parameter code this is a new pin here and then select them all just like you sell it here from the folder i like one hold down shift and, and then you can just drag it to folder so now it's in the folder, change the name to video, okay, and then you can just, you can just show it and unshow it like this. Okay, so since we have the folder here, next thing is drag one of the video to the timeline. So I just gonna double click it here. And I usually use uh, I can view, not list view, so that I can know what video is what. Now I will use uh, this this one. So I will just drag it in, in the timeline. Okay, it's already in the timeline now. So if you ask me why we're doing this, so I just import one video into the timeline. It's because I want to make a sequence. So if you see in here, there are new video concept, 
comes in and this is the sequence if you use list view it will um, it will appear with a green icon here it means it's a sequence a new sequence so now i just want to uh, drag it out the folder so that we know this is a sequence not a file i'll drag it um, yeah. okay so it's out of the folder the next thing I want to do is uh, I just want to close it so the only thing I want to do here is uh, rename this I will rename this uh, edit this is where I edit the video so if you see here the name here changes to now you need to duplicate this right click on it uh, duplicate so now we have two sequence that is actually the same if I double click on it it's the same sequence now we just need to rename this two I will, I will change the name to library because I'm gonna use the sequence uh, to be a library for me so I will put all the videos here and add it to add it here so we can just uh, delete the video because this is just a sequence do that and then go to the library like I said before double click on the video and then control A command A I select them all and then drag them all to the library sequence so this is how I make my edit in faster so this is the edit one uh, if this is a function to edit all of them, edit offline offline edit and online edit here and then the library is to you know what videos what so I'm just uh new the audio okay okay for example I will show you how I edit things so we have the library here just play it and you will see which video you want to use just drag it like this then. and hmm, I think I want to use this so I will just play I want to use from here command or control K to cut it and then play it again until where you want to cut it again until this one comment out console k to cut it and then you can just drag it to the edit done this is where I edit things and libraries where you search for the video then I will search for another video like this for example comment k console k until this until here, comment K, control K, drag it all to the edit. And also, if you have, if you want, you can just drag library down to here. So it will make it like that. That you can use this to see and then edit here. I don't want to use this because it. I just don't like it. But if you like to use this it will make you easier to edit but I usually use something like this to edit in here library in here and if you want to color grade color grade in here so this just be a library if you have another videos like I said before day one day two day three you can just drag it on top of the first video and then unsee the first one and then see the, the second one and if you want to day one 
can't see the second one. You see the first one. I think that's it. That is how I made my timeline. This is really helping me, yeah, because you know I can just use library here and then add it sequence. Just add it in here. Okay, I think that's all for today's video. I hope this video helps you. See you in the next video. And as always, stay creative.